Hi, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're having an excellent day. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Capricorn. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's see what the cards have in store for you. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have Justice, Major Arcana, and we have the Three of Swords. So the Ace of Pentacles, uh, I love the simplicity of this illustration, which is, as we know, the Aces are gifts, messages, blessings, opportunities from the universe. A message to you, which is, here's this big pentacle. Here's this beautiful little archway leading into abundance, leading into prosperity, leading to happiness and a good life. Health-wise, relationship-wise, career-wise, really everything can be carried into this Ace of Pentacles. Well, how do I, how do I manage to walk through down that yellow path? How do I get into that abundant place? The pentacles would say, well, you have to put in the time and the effort and the focus in planning your dream, planning your prosperity. How are you going to do it? How are you going to use your common sense, your abilities, and your talents in order to move you along the path toward abundance, a spiritually uh, and materially perhaps abundant life? You have to maybe get expert advice. You might have to make extra time to focus on how to, uh, you know, maybe make some extra money to save, to uh, broaden your skill set. There are many ways to move along to the path toward abundance. And maybe it's meditation or self-reflection, but it is nourishing, nourishing, excuse me, all of the seeds that you're tossing out there, that you have to grow them. And that growing part and taking care of them is your energy, your desire to succeed, and your focus. So here we have the universe providing you with the opportunity and the potential blessing of abundance within your life. And then we have justice turning up. And justice is always an interesting card because justice goes to the integrity of a situation and what's right, of doing what's right. So we may be having a message here that along the path here that you're working so hard to get into is try to do the right things, which is, again, hate to say it, but it's the focus and it's the hard work and maybe it's doing it the honest way other than taking advantage of a situation, ripping someone off to make money or to gain an advantage. Justice is about equality. It's about doing the right thing. It's about uh, the karmic consequences of doing the right thing. And to be mindful of your own actions on a literal level. It could be some of you have court documents to sign, to review, to handle. Or maybe you have a date at the courthouse for whatever reason but it certainly suggests legality, rules, and doing what's right and what is fair. This is a sword here that provides decisive uh, judgments and decisions based on evidence, based on what is presented. So, you know, again, connecting it to the Ace of Pentacles, perhaps it's just the message of try to do the right thing along your journey of tending to your dreams and your hopes of what you hope to accomplish. And then we have the Three of Swords. Simply, a it's really a beautiful card. I love the blue, I love the contrast of the blue, the white and the red. So what does this tell us? Something hurts, something has hurt us. It could be a big matter, someone lying not being truthful, not having integrity, and you discover this and it's a blow. It could be unkind words to you. Someone 
uh, I'm just going to say it, someone being a bastard and saying something nasty. And in this day and age, it can take the form in so many different ways, hateful messages on Facebook comments and, or, or Insta, whatever it may, social media. I mean, you deal with these things all the time. And sometimes people are nasty and it hurts. And that's natural and that's, you know, we have to learn to deal with the hurts within our life. And again, it's on a spectrum. Sometimes it feels like these three swords are going to crush us. And we have to make our way, a, a, you know, out of that. We have to find a way to deal with that. There are other times when it's just enough, um, you know, of puncturing just to make a difference for a couple of days. And then you can get past it. We can't live with the hurt. We can't allow it to fester or to grow and to overtake us because then it can lead to more serious matters. It also, it gets in our way of, of spiritual growth, of happiness. When we live and we can't get outside of this pain. So however uh, the day goes for you, you learn something, someone is not acting with integrity or with honesty, lies perhaps, you know, whatever it may be, an issue of equality of fairness that leads to something hurting. The Ace of Pentacles, the hard work, the focus, the taking care of the aspects as you try to make your way through this portal. So interesting cards for the day. Let's take a look at what we have in terms of numerology. We have 1 and 11 is 12. 12 and 3 is 15. And 15 reduces to 6. And 6 is about social consciousness. It's about compassion. It can be about peace. It can be about family. Trying to find some stability. And finally, to close the reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. Focus upon your strengths, Apollo. So the beautiful blinding light there. Focus on what you can do and what you do well. Think about how you use your intelligence, your, again, your ability to, to put in the effort and to plan your time. I love that card. I love the idea. Focus on your strengths and particularly, you know, allow this to do what it's going to do and then try to find a way to move beyond it. So this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. Check out my weekly readings. That would be awesome if you did. I thank you for your time. I appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.